Good afternoon. Welcome. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Okay, kia ora uh, Tato. We're here this afternoon representing Kashmir High School Sustainability Council. Uh, my name is Leith Cooper and with me today are students Anzac Galate and Josh McKernan. Uh, firstly, we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to speak with you in person today. Our submission is that the Christchurch City Council invest in having a strong and growing network of Enviro schools in Christchurch as part of the long-term plan. Cashman High School first started working with Enviro Schools in 2012 and we thought the best way of demonstrating the impact that Enviro Schools has had on our school, our local community and our environment is for you to hear directly from our students. So in 2012 Enviro Schools helped us install smart meters around the school for students to monitor our electricity consumption. Working closely with Matt Stanford, our Enviro Schools facilitator, our students ran a switch it off campaign, which reduced our electricity footprint by 10%. We then installed LED lights, which further reduced our footprint by 20%. The learning around this was integrated into maths and science lessons, and Enviro Schools helped our students run a broader community outreach campaign so that other schools could learn from this also. The combination of these initiatives over a period of five years culminated into, in our school being the first in New Zealand to be awarded the Zayed Future Energy Prize, which is a prestigious global award uh, awarded by the United Arab Emirates. Uh, again, it was Enviro Schools who encouraged us to apply for this prize, and the 100,000 US dollars has been invested in a 25 kilowatt solar array, a 2 kilowatt wind turbine, and Cashman will be the first school in the world to install kinetic floor tiles, which generate electricity from student footsteps. Mm -hmm. Through the Enviro Schools Network, local primary schools have been to our school to learn firsthand about these sustainable energy sources, and we have published articles in national and international teaching journals, as well as through social media. So, our partnership with Enviro Schools has had an impact not just on our school, but our local, national, and global community. Four years ago, Enviro Schools helped us establish our water clarity testing program with the Kashmir Stream Care Group to help monitor the water clarity of our local waterways. Every Wednesday lunchtime for the last three and a half years, Kashmir students have been measuring the water clarity of the Heathcote River and Kashmir Stream. Students have analysed this data in science lessons and there is emerging evi evidence that the water clarity of our local waterways has been getting worse. Over the time, and the Kashmir Stream in particular has been negatively affected by the 2017 Port Hill fires. With Enviro School support, we continue to work with local community groups and agencies on further developing this project, which is building strong community relationships focused on promoting a, a livable city with a healthy environment. Over the last two years, Enviro Schools has helped us develop a native riparian reserve within our own school, along the banks of the Waimakihi stream which flows through our school. Environmental Enviro Schools facilitators have helped students clear the previously neglected and overgrown site and then plant over 150 native trees in an on-grown program that has involved student planting, weeding and monitoring the ecological diversity of the site. Many students involved in this project have never planted a tree before and Enviro Schools facilitators have helped educate our students about the ecological importance of riparian zones. Uh, thanks, Anzac and Josh. Um, just by way of summary, all of these amazing things that students have achieved for our school, our community and our environment have been facilitated with the help of Enviro Schools. We want to continue being an Enviro School and we'd love other schools to be able to join the network and benefit. By working together, we can achieve more. We do recognise that the Croatia City Council needs to manage some huge infrastructure costs but we also believe the level of investment needed to support a strong and growing Enviro Schools network is reasonable, and this investment will generate greater long-term benefits. We would therefore like to submit to the Council that you invest in having a strong and growing network of Enviro Schools in Christchurch as part of our long-term plan. 
Nama Inui, and thank you again for taking the time to hear our submission. We'd be happy to answer any questions the Council might have regarding our submission. Kia ora and thank you, and I, I agree it's always more powerful when you've got the students who are participating, uh, making the presentation, so thank you very much uh, for doing so, and for the team that's sitting behind, <laughs> great. Um, and of course this is all being live streamed, so you'll be able to play it back for everyone, put it on your Facebook page, and um, you know, make sure that you're telling the story more broadly than just here. So, um, has, have people got questions? Sarah. Thank you. Um, so what is it about enviro schools rather than, you know, say, um, you know, a local teacher with a passion or other organisations that makes the funding and connections with enviro schools so important? Uh, well, for us personally, um, enviro schools has been able to come along and kind of gauge where we are at with the school and where our students are at as a group and give us projects that we can handle but also projects that we can expand. So with our Zai Future Energy Prize, none of us had ever, ever dreamed of um, being part of that and actually having that opportunity available to us. Um, and that was, that was all because uh, Enviro Schools had come along, introduced us to um, a smaller project that we could handle and, and run for a number of years, and then kind of kept coming back to us and, and were suggesting other things that um, you know, we could get involved with. So um, outreach into the local community and then eventually applying for that prize. So. Um, Personally, I believe in borough schools really good at uh, kind of gauging where individual schools are at, um, and also where, where groups of students are at, and are able to um, also gauge whether, you know, um, how regular and how strongly that kind of connection is maintained, and whether they can do it independently as students, or whether they need a bit more attention. So. Yeah, it's really that breadth of experience that they bring to the table. That I'm a classroom teacher at Kingsway yeah. High School. And the projects that we've delivered here just would not have been possible without Enviro Schools. And the, the breadth and the experience that they bring to the table, um, they know what projects work at other schools, they're connected with um, you know, um, community groups, um, and that's really what's added value here. Tim? Um, thank you, and I, I really, it's outstanding what you're doing, but mm. in our community, you know, Kashmir Primary School's involved in Enviro Schools, and we were just at, Cherry's Early Learning Centre the other day there, and I think what you, what you guys are really leading is that you, you, you're putting the pressure on your parents to change, I know that my lot have, and many parents around me, so thank you so much, that, that's you know, leadership from now and into the future which you guys are doing, so thank you very much. Thank you very much, that's what we're passionate about, so we enjoy doing it. Cheers. Yeah. I, I get a little <laughs> 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 Oh, actually, this is probably a question for um, Dr Cooper, but it, does the Ministry get involved in this as well? Um, certainly not at the level that we operate. Um, you know, we're, we actually run our Sustainability Council as an extracurricular activity. So typically we meet at lunch times, after school, weekends. Um, so that's all done, you know, without additional funding. Um, we're lucky to have Enviro School support in that, you know, they can partner us, partner us up with Department of Conservation to get trees for planting, Kashmir Stream Care Group for you know, doing our stream mm. monitoring projects. But the short answer that I, I believe to your question is no. So there probably is quite a lot more scope there for the Ministry to get involved if this is future focused and future learning, I suppose. Maybe? Uh, yeah. Quite possibly. Um, but, you know, we're looking to, you know, sort of take action, you know, mm. here and now. Right now. Um, this, in my eyes, is a model that, you know, is working. Um, and is, is local and is making a difference to our local community. Very good. All right, well, look, thank you very much. It's much appreciated, and um, it's great, to, as I say, to have the advocacy coming right from the heart of the school. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.